Okay, 21. Translated these into log form. Right now they're in exponential form. What's the base here? It's a 2, right? No matter what form it is, the base is always going to be 2 for this. So we can do x is equal to log base 2 of 8. Just move the base over to the other side. It goes into 8 now. B, same thing, 10 to the <coughs> power equals 125. We move the base over and make it a base with the 125, so we end up with x equals log base 10 of 125. Yes? And if a log doesn't have a base, that means 10? It's automatically 10, so I don't have to write it, or I could write it, it don't matter. Questions on 21? All right, 22. All right, these are in logarithmic form. They want us to put them in exponential form. So my base here is 10. So I'm going to move the base over and get rid of the log. So 2 is equal to 10 to the n power. Natural log of x equals 3. How do I get rid of the natural log? Say it again. Um, it's the same thing as log base e of x, right? Yeah. We could do it that way. Same property as 22a. We're going to move the base over and get rid of the log. So x is equal to e to the third power. Questions on 22? 23a, they want us to solve 2 to the x power equals 8. What do we need to do here? 3. Yes. What if we can't do it in our head? What's, the, what's our plan? Yes, make the bases the same. That's right. Very good. That's what I was going to say. 2 to the x power is equal to 2 to the third power, right? Is it 8 to the third? Yes. Yeah. So since our bases are the same, we can drop them. Like it's hot. Like it's hot. So x equals 3. All right, b. 1 over 16 to the x power equals 8. And what can I turn both these bases into? Two. 2, very good. 2 to the negative 4th power is 1 over 16, and 2 to the 3rd power is 8. So it'll be 2 to the negative 4x equals 2 to the 3rd. Drop the bases. So x is equal to a negative 3 fourths. Yes. All right, 
3 to what power is 81? 4. I'm going to turn 81 into 3 to the 4th power. Power of a power we multiply. So it will be 3 to the 2x plus 4 is equal to 3 to the 8x. Drop the bases. 2x plus 4 is equal to 8x. Minus 2x. 4 is equal to 6x. So x is equal to 2 thirds. Alright, on D. Here, the natural log and the e cancel each other out, so we're just left with x equals 10. axis y. y. It's going to be y equals. All right, so what's it going to be? y equals what? How do we determine what the horizontal axis? What are we looking at? We've got to compare the degrees, right? Of the numerator with the degree of the denominator. What's the degree of the numerator? 2, degree of the denominator, 2, they're the same, so, so we go by the ratio of the coefficients, right? There's a 1 there, ratio is 2 to 1, so y equals 2. The degrees are the same as the ratio of the leading coefficients. <coughs> Eric, 